Hello, everybody. Today we're here at Stokes Mazda, and we're here with Angelo Vocek. How are you doing, Angelo? Good. How are you, sir? Good. Good morning, man. Now, um, you got something special getting ready to happen here, and it's the Dakar Rally. Can you tell us um, kind of a little bit of information out there to the public if they don't know about this race and kind of what's all involved in doing this rally race? Yes, it's a pretty much an off-road race for motorcycle, quads, cars, and trucks. It takes place in uh, South America. It goes through Paraguay, Bolivia, and Argentina. It's a 12-day race, and if you have all what it takes, you might finish. <laughs> you might finish. So 12 days of, is this like endurance racing for the most part? Uh, yes, it's uh, all time sections are off-road. Okay. So it's pretty much uh, really similar to Baja 1000, scores races. Uh, it's not as close like Enduros, but it's a wider terrain, but it is all off-road. You're going through dirt roads, river washes, mountains. Wow. Uh, it's pretty hardcore stuff here. Yes. For the terrain. Yes, for, right. for the terrain it is. For uh, uh, motorcycles and quads have same course. For uh, cars and trucks and stuff, they use certain sections. They have to do different mm -hmm. because they cannot fit the car or truck there where right. we go through. But other than that, it's pretty much the similar course for everybody. Now, um, everybody watch on the screen right now. I'm gonna put the map up where he's racing at. Can you explain kind of how this, where the race starts and kind of finishes? The race starts in Asuncion, Paraguay. Uh, I think the first day it's a 560 kilometer stage, uh, but it's only 40 kilometers. It's a uh, time mm -hmm. for racing. It's a kind of easy day to get everybody on, on their feet and stuff like that and uh, move to Argentina. And after that, you pretty much get up at 3, 4 a.m. Uh, either have a short liaison to your special stage or you have a longer liaison, depends. Then you do your specials and then you take another liaison to go to your BWAC. Uh, that's kind mm -hmm. of where you meet up with your crew. Okay, and uh, now Stokes Automotive, as a lot of people know out there, um, they started back in the 1960s with motorcycle racing. So that's how Stokes all started, right on Dorchester Road with the uh, motorcycle shop. Now, this is really cool. Now, th this race, supposedly, what you were telling me earlier, started back in the, what, 1975? Yeah, there was the uh, first time in this world run was either 75 or 76. The race is from Paris to Dakar. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty much race across Sahara Desert. But about uh, 10 years ago, the Africa got pretty unstable. A mm -hmm. uh, lot of racers and some organizers uh, were endangered, so they moved it to the South America. Okay, cool. So, as y'all can see, this is going to be a pretty wild race here going on. It's getting ready to start on January 2nd, is what you told me. 12 days of racing. Now, um, also, uh, Stokes Mazda is going to be one of the sponsors of your, of your, of your race. Is that right? Yes, uh, Stokes Mazda is one of the handful of people that actually step into play and uh, understand and help me out. I'm very appreciative of it. Cool. And uh, can I be more stoked? Awesome. Hey, there you go. Can't be any more stoked. That's right. Tell us a little bit about the motorcycle that you'll be racing. Uh, can you give us a little backdrop on the bike here? Uh, this is a pretty much a factory replica uh, KTM. It's a uh, really similar bike, uh, the factory team races, except the motor and suspension. They do have a better motor and suspension, but other than that, this is uh, probably one of the most successful bikes in the Dakar history, so uh, I shouldn't have any problems with the bike because the bike's tested and proven but you never know so it's, it's built for this kind of this kind of stuff yeah it is a it is a true rally bike it's built to go off-road and race rallies uh with three gas tanks and everything mm -hmm. else what you need now you mentioned to me earlier under the bottom here you actually got a tank for even just drinking water yeah it's a aso it's a rule you have to have three liters of, of drinking water on the bike and mm -hmm. three liters uh in your camelback to start each stage. Uh, a lot of times you go through desert and dunes and stuff, and even we have a trackers, you know, every, anything can happen, Malfun malfunctions or some mm -hmm. electronics go down. You have to be able to survive at least, you know, two, three days in the desert, so water's the key. That's definitely for sure. Well, we're, we're gonna follow Angelo throughout his race, and uh, so stay tuned with us on Stokes Mazda's Facebook page. Thank you for taking time to talk with us Thank this morning. Thank you very much for everything. And good luck. Thank you. Awesome. Okay.